in space. No one can hear you scream. That's the tagline of a movie that would come a little bit after this. Hey guys, it's Dr. Mark here, and I have a NECA review for you. This is the Deacon from the movie Prometheus. Uh, it was one of my favorite movies from last year. Uh, it's Ridley Scott's prequel to Alien. Um, just an amazing, amazing movie. I really loved it. I know had some harsh critics, but I I loved it. I really did. So many little nods to the earlier films and whatnot. Uh, but we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, here's a look at the packaging. See, it says Deacon. Uh, choking Hazard, ages 17 and up. All this. I love this. The back. Uh, Prometheus, there's the movie title. On the back is a close-up of the figure. Uh, some of the other figures in the wave. The engineer in chair suit. That's the other figure from this line that I want. Definitely the other characters. Visionary filmmaker Ridley Scott returns to the genre he helped define, creating an original science fiction epic set in the most dangerous corners of the universe, presenting a grand new mythology linked to the provocative strands of alien DNA. The film takes a team of scientists and explores on a thrilling journey that will test their physical and mental limits and strand them on a distant world where they will discover the answers to our most profound questions and to life's ultimate mystery. Haunting words there. Very cool. Uh, it's a really cool figure. Uh, I like this. You know, this is the basically the last image we see uh, from that film is uh, this creature, uh, which the the main pretty much the main reason I wanted this was because it very much harkens back to the creature that we would see in. The original Alien and the subsequent movies after that. Uh, obviously this creature will eventually evolve into the classic Alien that we're used to. There's great paintwork and sculpting. Again, it's just all basically one color. It's all kind of gray and black. And just very cool. Uh, you see, it comes with this figure stand, which I'll go over in a moment as to why. But just the mouth and just that, just that, no eyes. You know, they say the eyes are uh, an entryway into the soul. I don't know, there's no eyes on the, these creatures. They're so just, just evil and weird and looking and just, oh, just that dome shape and just really incredible detailing on this guy just looks so cool uh, I'll go over the articulation you have a ball jointed neck ball and shoulders elbows uh, swivel wrists there's a uh, there's a ball jointed torso uh, ball and hips ball and knees and ball and ankles but just the way the character is designed makes it very if not impossible to stand up so uh, NECA gave us this figure stand and it's even even with the figure stand it's hard to get him to stand I'll just, I'll just take it off and you'll see but really nicely detailed and sculpted and just just that just got that alien look even though it's not quite the alien from the first movie it's it's going in the right direction or or in that direction uh, other accessories are you have two versions of these like um, worm things. You have sort of, and they're, it's a very bendy, bendable plastic, so you can sort of position them 
and this is you have basically the closed version and you have the open version and if you look at this this was definitely a creepy part of the movie and it basically looks like a little teeny tiny face hugger and it's just it's a very soft like I said you can sort of position this in various ways it just looks like a worm or snake kind of creature Uh, the other item is this, I guess, the engineer head, this, like, decapitated engineer head. There's just this look of horror on these guys. There's his head in the suit, and this is the helmet. Yeah, hollow on the inside. Very cool, nicely detailed, and you can... You can simply place this on top. So there's the whole head there. Very cool. So those are the accessories. Again, um, just a really cool, dynamic looking figure. I just love uh, the look on this. Just that, that dome head, again, is so represent representative uh, of the classic alien that we're used to, obviously. Like I said, uh, this creature will eventually evolve into what we see in the first alien, and then aliens, and alien 3, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, LV-426, all, all that good stuff. And it gets me, it gets me excited for the colonial marine uh, figures that are coming out from NECA soon with uh, there's another alien figure coming out then definitely have to get that so yeah that's about it there isn't too much to say about this guy he's just really nicely sculpted and painted and one thing is the the articulation joints are very well hidden uh, on this figure the knee and hip joints and shoulder joints are just and the neck, the neck joint. And it's very fluid, very great range of motion. It moves really well up and down, just all around. Uh, so, you know, again, the one drawback is that he's very tough to stand, even with the included uh, figure stand. You have to, but uh, take a couple minutes, get him on there, Ryan. He should, he'll stand pretty well. Uh, that's it, yeah. Another look at the, like, snake accessories, worm There's the engineer head. Again, great detail on that. Just really cool. Of course, that character eventually will know him as the space jockey later on. You know, not this particular engineer, obviously. He's with that head. All right, so there you have it. This is Deacon from the movie Prometheus. Uh, it's a really cool figure. Definitely worth picking up if you can get a hold of him. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this review. And until my next review, I'll just say farewell.